Hey guys, Josh and Amy here from ThroughMyLens.com and today we're exploring Bandelier National Monument. On a recent trip to Santa Fe, New Mexico, Amy and I took the one hour drive to Bandelier National Monument. We were able to drive in and stop at a few of the viewpoints, but during the summer you need to take a shuttle as the parking is very limited. After arriving at the park, we went to the visitor center first to learn more about the area and its early inhabitants which date back thousands of years. The main draw for this park is to access the cliff dwellings which have ladders that allow you to climb into them, but this is just a few miles of the 70 miles of trails that are available at the park. For our visit, we set out on the main loop trail which is 1.2 miles and then added the extra mile to go to the alcove house at the end. The first point of interest on this trail is the Big Kiva, which was used for communal meeting place and for religious ceremonies. From there, you pass into the ruins of a large circular area which once had over 400 rooms and was used mainly for storing food. This is an artist representation of the area that we're in right now. We're heading out on the main ruins loop right now to go up to the ruins up there. This part of the trail is really amazing and it's easily worth visiting even if it's the only thing you see in the park. Only enter the caves that have ladders. Along this trail, there are multiple places where wooden ladders give you access to small caves which are either naturally occurring or carved out by the early inhabitants. This whole portion of the trail is really impressive though. It's super narrow and there's lots of things that you can look at and explore as well as a few ladders that allow you to climb up into the caves. After exploring the cliff dwellings here, this trail heads back down to the main loop trail and over to an area called Long House. Long House is another collection of Pueblo ruins from three to four story houses that were built alongside the cliff. We're heading to the tallest one, Alcove House. From here, the trail connects with the main loop again and you can take the half mile back to the visitor center or continue on another half mile to Alcove House. Alcove House is 140 feet vertical ascent. Do not do it if you have a fear of heights. That's our angle. The climb to Alcove House is definitely one of the most unique things I've done in any of our national parks. This 140 foot climb takes you up a series of four wooden ladders, each getting progressively longer as you make your way to the top. While I didn't have any problem with the heights aspect, there was multiple people who decided not to continue and stayed at the bottom when they saw the ladders. Alcove House is certainly impressive to see and it once housed over 25 people. They even have a kiva right in the middle and this is a great spot to take a break before heading the one mile back to the visitor center. Thanks so much for exploring Bandelier National Monument with us. If you like these types of videos, let us know in the comments and we'll see you guys on the next one.